Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to install some of the useful extension which will help us to write the code in React programming more efficiently. So let's look into that. What are those extensions? So prior to proceeding to the next sessions, I want all of you should install extensions. The first one is ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippet. This is very useful and very handy snippet tool or say snippet extension which will help us to give the starter code for writing the React component. I have already installed it. That's the reason you are seeing over here uninstall option. If you will search for this, you need to search like ES7 React Redux. So you will get this option. So once you click on it, then you will find the install option over here and you need to click on the install option then this extension gets installed into your Visual Studio code other extension you have to install is auto import this is pretty handy tool whenever if you are inserting a component so it will automatically identify the component and the path of that particular component so this is really very handy you should install it as well so over here you have to search for auto import now the next one is prettier so prettier is very handy one so we can also download that one as well so over here i have already downloaded it so prettier is used to do the code formatting if you look over here then you will find that whenever i am saving it so it is putting the semicolon or whatever the required formatting thing it is putting there so to search prettier you need to write it over here prettier and once you get the prettier code formatter then you need to install it you will get the install option i already installed that the reason you are getting over here uninstall so once you install the prettier then you need to follow the instruction whatever the instruction which is given over here you need to follow that and configure it accordingly now let's look into the es7 snippet one that is really very important and very useful so let's look into that how it is useful to us so let's go to the explorer over here and for a time being i'm just going to insert a file called test.js now over here if i want to write a functional component so i need to type r f c and enter so see here it has given us the functional component boilerplate code and here we can write the component same with that if i want to generate class component then i need to write rcc enter then it will give us the boilerplate code for the class component so in the same code if i want to generate or if i want to insert the constructor then i need to write r const and enter so it will generate the boilerplate code for constructor so you will see it over here it is very much handy and very useful suppose if you want to generate arrow function based functional component then you need to write r a f c enter so see here it has generated the functional component which is based upon the arrow function now let's look into the prettier example suppose that if i am inserting console.log and here some message test and i am saving it see here there is no semicolon save it then you will find that the prettier has applied the formatting to the entire file and it has applied the required formatting like a statement should be ended with semicolon so it has applied that and all these setting is coming from here go to the preference there is a settings and over here you will find the prettier settings and here you are specifying that so when you are saving then it should be ended with the semicolon see here you have chosen this option that the reason it is ended with a semicolon so you can enable and disable the preference setting by going to the file preference settings and then you need to choose the extension whichever extension where you want to apply the preference all third party extension you will get it over here and each third party extension should come with some configuration that you can apply from here so this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session now going forward i am going to use these extension regressively so that we can mainly focus on the concept instead of writing the code so on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.